So PS Ride is just around the corner. And there she is. Good morning everyone, hope you're all doing good. Right, today I thought I did to take a trip overseas. From, um, well as in and by overseas, I mean uh, a 10 minute hovercraft trip from Portsmouth to Isle of Wight. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite overseas, but it'll do. Um, haven't, I haven't been here since I was like six. Actually, that's a lie. I came here for a residential trip at year seven, but I haven't been to where I'm going today since I was about that six. Yeah, literally, this was a bit of a spontaneous idea from me. I literally just thought, yesterday at work, just thought, I'll go to Yellow White. So I did, I booked the hovercraft ticket yesterday, or this morning, got on the train to South Sea, and yeah, here I am now. I'll be honest, I don't actually know where I am. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm going, I'm going to the Island Harbour Marina, which is in Binfield, I believe. I think that's what it's called, anyway. I just got a bus from Ride from the Hovercraft place, and I've, yeah, I'm not great at the Isle of Wight. I don't really know much about it, <laughs> I'll be honest. I haven't, come, I haven't come here very often. And I also decided to do it on the cold, literally as soon as the weather drops down to about two degrees, because I like being cold. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, we're, um, yeah, there's a particular place I want to go to for a long time. I came here when I was about seven. I'll, um, I got, I only have one picture of it. I'll show you the picture in a second. But, um, it's right in the middle of Island Harbour Marina, which is just over there. Over, over there. So, um, I had a lot, I remember coming to this place and I loved it. So, um, just because I thought it was really cool. And I'm afraid, it, I think from looking at pictures and news articles, it's in a bit, worse for wear and I don't even know if it's still there anymore but well, yeah let's go find out right then here we are Island Harbour Marina here we are and um, well if you um if you're local or if you've been here before you probably know what I'm looking for and that would be um oh hold on the car coming I'll come back to have a look at the PS Ride which is a huge abandoned shipwreck basically of a, or it used to be a paddle steamer that did services across from the Isle of Wight to um, Portsmouth, but it was famous because it took part in the Normandy landings during um, World War II and also um, actually the minesweeper. But sadly, the ship is in pretty bad condition. As um, I, I think, I believe, if I remember correctly, it's, I have to double check this. Um, but around the um, late 70s, early 80s, it moved to Island Harbour Marina, which is where we are here. Ooh. Wow, that looks nice. <laughs> yeah, and it was used as like a clubhouse, but um, it burnt down and it has, been wor has been in pretty bad condition ever since. They tried restoring it, but it just, it never came to light and I just it was too expensive. And after... A couple of years ago, um, the whole, basically the whole of the bridge, um, just of the of the ship, just collapsed. And I think its fate is to be, sadly, is to be sent to the scrap heap. But that is yet to have happened. You can just about see it, I think. There. But anyway, we'll get a closer. Let's get a closer look. I mean, look at this place. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's absolutely freezing right now. But anyway, so and so PS Ride is just around the corner. And there she is. It's a bit boggy. I would go over, but yeah, it's a bit boggy, so I probably won't. Yeah, you can see. So this ship was commissioned in 1936 by Southern Railway to operate as a well, it was a ferry, it ran between Ride, P I believe between Ride Pier and Portsmouth. And then during the Second World War, she was commandeered by the Navy, used as a minesweeper, and then also took part in the Normandy landings. After the war, she continued her service until she was, de until she was decommissioned. But before she came here, she was used as, um, she just spent a week on charter, that's like private hire, on the River Thames. Let's go look. You can see, you can see that the bridge is there. That little bit building there, you can see it's just completely sunk through the, the centre of the ship. 
but um, yeah, after after her week on the Thames, she came here and on Mudberth, as you can see, the drain, the sea here has been drained, so to allow it to for the mud, for the mud to kind of come like this. But um, yeah, for sure, it will dry out. And she was used as a clubhouse and also a, like a little disco hall. However, there was um, there was a uh, fire, I believe, in the late seventies, where the ship was repaired, but it was, but it never properly recovered from that, and it's just been sat here, to, sat laying here ever since. It's a shame. There's been a bit lot of um, there are a lot of. Uh, Attempts to restore the ship, but it would. It, but I mean, from a while ago, anyway. This is from about 2009. It was estimated it cost about nine million to restore her, and although fundraising was attempted, it just never happened. Yeah, you know, it just didn't happen. And um, there have been a couple of attempts to, to restore the ship, a couple of attempts to scrap it, but. I believe it, they it got uh, permission to. Um, they were granted permission to scrap the ship um, in 2019, but it just never happened. So yeah, it just yeah, it just never happened. But the, which is a shame, as you can see. I think believe in 2020, the bridge collapsed into the hull. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to happen anymore. It, it just won't. <laughs> I imagine. Which is a really big shame. You can see here. Now, what about the, about the ship? You can see the left of the ship. You've got the front right here. You've got the ride written on the side. <coughs> yeah, it's also known as the Ride Queen, if I remember correctly. And then you can see the bridge there. That's all sunken into the, into the hull now. It's a shame. I've got a picture actually of the ship before this happened. I think I just mentioned that actually. I'll, I mean, I'll put it on screen. You'll be able to see that. Me looking a bit sad. I don't know why I look sad, but maybe it's because I somehow knew what was going to happen to the ship. <laughs> but no, anyway, yeah. It's me when I was about seven years old, standing next to it. It's a bit different now. Then next to it, you can see just over there, you can see the uh, old paddle wheel. Or one of them anyway. I think there's another one on the other side. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to come down here, really, and just have a look at the ship again, because it's been a long time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Yeah, be sure to, yeah, if you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment as well. It'd be interesting if anyone's got any, well, it'd be interesting if anyone's got any experience of actually going on the ship when it was, before it became like this, really. So, yeah, definitely leave a comment if, um, if, you, do, if you have. And, um, be sure to check out my Instagram, Jim Butler YT, and also, it's pretty cool with the Harbour Office. And um, also, <coughs> check out the link in the description of my Just Given page. We're at £75 currently of £225 for our fundraiser for Chestnut Tree House Children's Hospice. So if you haven't already, please consider um, donating, it would mean a lot. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed.